week we're going back to basics and for fashion flat sketching that means the pen tool so we know that the pen tool is the main tool that you use to flat sketch an illustrator but it's also the hardest to master so let's start by going through a basic overview of how the pen tool functions now before we begin if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already or if you've been watching these videos and you haven't subscribed please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell and that will notify you each week when we post a new video okay let's get started to find the pen tool look for the icon in your tools panel that looks like the tip of a calligraphy pen and make sure you don't confuse the pen tool with the curvature tool they look similar but they work very differently if you right mouse click on the pen tool you'll also see the three other tools it's docked with the add anchor point tool delete anchor point tool and the regular anchor point tool these three complement the pen tool but for sure of the four you use the pen the most the pen tool creates two types of points corner points which create straight lines and smooth points which create curved lines to create straight lines you're just clicking and moving and clicking and moving the cursor to create curved lines instead of just clicking the mouse you'll press hold the mouse button and drag your cursor away from the point you've just created as you drag, you'll see two sets of lines extending away from the point. And these lines are what make corner points different from smooth points. These little guys are called direction handles and they're definitely the part that makes using the pen tool a bit tricky. Which way you twist them and how much you lengthen or shorten them will determine what your line looks like. And let me tell you, it takes a little practice. Those lines can get out of control and go ham real quick. So fortunately, there's no secret to getting better at using the pen tool. You just have to practice. And one of the easiest things you can do to help you practice, in fact, it's exactly how I learned to sketch an illustrator, is to scan a hand sketch and trace it. Scan your drawing or take a picture of it and open it directly in Illustrator. And here are a few pointers to help you as you trace your drawing. Number one, when you first open your sketch, select it and make it lighter using the opacity panel. This will make it a lot easier to see when you're tracing it with a black stroke color. Number two, try to draw the outer shape as one continuous line. If you're drawing half so you can reflect it later, start at the top at center front and trace the perimeter of your hand sketch. Once you get to the center at the bottom of the sketch, choose the black or white arrow and click anywhere on the page, but not on the sketch, to detach from the line. As a shortcut, you can press and hold the control key if you're on a PC or the command key if you're on a Mac, which will toggle to one of the arrows. Keep pressing the controller command key until you've clicked to deselect, and then when you let go, the tool switches back to the pen. Number three, use as few points as possible. Most beginners tend to add more points than they need to. Try to use as few points as possible to create your lines. Then use the direction handles to reshape the curve. When you use too many points, the lines start to look a little jagged and it makes it harder to edit later on. And number four, focus on trying to complete the line and know that if it's not perfect, you can always go back and edit the path. So if you're having trouble getting the curve you want, get it as close as possible and then go back with the white arrow, the direct selection tool, and tweak it so it looks good. One of the many things I love about Illustrator is that you can always go back and edit your sketch to make it look better. So that is today's digital fashion tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button if you found this tutorial helpful and subscribe to see more digital fashion tutorials like this one with me, Mikkel, your digital fashion guru. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you on 7th Avenue.